Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Underrated Movies. I'm your guy. I'm your man, Mr. Alton Henry. And today I'm going to talk to you of another underrated film. Unfortunately, lately I haven't been making a lot of film, a lot of videos lately. I've just been busy. So I'll come out whenever I can with it and just hopefully you guys stay tuned in. Today, I had the pleasure of rewatching the action thriller directed by who directed it and it's on HBO Max currently <clears throat> produced by Joel Silver he's pretty famous Russell Muchanley Muchanley starring Denzel Washington John Letgal Ice T Kevin Pollock and Lindsay Wanger Wagner called Ricochet it's an action crime thriller about Denzel Washington as a police detective who, well, police officer who soon becomes a, I think, a uh, assistant DA. After, um, it's about Denzel as a police officer who arrests this psychotic, um, somewhat vengeful, deranged, um, <clears throat> assassin, um, uh, played by John Lethal, Lethal, who puts him away, and soon he becomes Denzel becomes a I think assistant DA, who um, eventually has to combat his um, uh, John Lethal's character who gets out of prison and tries to psychologically <clears throat> ruin his life by trying to set him up. Uh, um, false stories sending false tapes of you know basically trying to ruin his life the guy is basically trying to psychologically break down denzel washington's character and basically trying to get revenge for the amount of years he had a face in in prison and this is a different kind of action thriller and it's one to where and i think it rarely do you get a action film that really dives into the to a more psychological <coughs> presence um holy crap i just realized by turning on this light my um <coughs> my alarm clock just went out <coughs> damn hold on I i've never seen that before damn i've never seen that before Anyway, well, this is working. <clears throat> this film's not really action heavy, but the film is around like a 90 minute kind of um, runtime where I feel like it kind of balanced out from story to action to characters. And the action is very, very limited. It's more on the performances, it's more on the psychological thrill part of. And Denzel being reintroduced, this guy that he put or that he put away uh, in prison, and when you see him, it gets really intense. You see the lengths that John Lake guy will go to do whatever he can to ruin this man's life. I mean, this guy is psychotically evil. I mean, this dude is destructive. He would. Uh, drug Denzel. There's a scene in there where he drugs Denzel Washington and brings him to some sort of um, empty pool somewhere, and he would drug him and make him experience the drug, and then have some sort of um, worker perform actions on him, and then eventually later is revealed that he got uh, a uh, disease, and then they recorded it, and then they further out humility and try to dismantle this guy's life like they go so far to make Denzel even question his own insanity that what he's experiencing is it actually reality and it is we see it as the audience we see it happening it's the character where I believe from that angle you really start to feel bad that this guy's life is literally literally crushing and he's trying to find ways of trying to figure it out how his life is falling apart until he realizes that 
um, you know, it, it's it's for revenge. Um, <clears throat> Ice T is also in this. He's pretty good in the scenes that he's in. He plays, I think, somewhat of Denzel Washington's friend, but also he plays a drug dealer. So their relationship is kind of strictly business with some respect on the side where eventually he, he does ask him out to uh, help him out to uh, get revenge on John Lake. John Lake, I haven't seen much of his work. I've seen him in what, in, 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 in Stellar, uh, The Accountant, and a few other movies, but his earlier movies I haven't seen a lot of. Here he is utterly intimidating and terrifying. This guy feels like he could play a definite Batman villain from like the animated series. This guy is very, very, and I heard he's a, like one of the best actors um, to ever worked in the industry. This guy, when you see him, you are glued to every, 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 every ounce of screen time he is in. I can, and I think, I think, I think he was cast in a lot of villain roles and. And this is what I noticed back in the day. I feel like a lot of movies, action movies, back in the early days, focused more on a lot of psychological warfare. And I don't think you normally get that a lot now these days when it comes to action films. Because this film, I, I thought, was an interesting gem, really. Didn't Zell. And it might have been one of the first action films he's ever done at that time. This movie came out in 1991. 1991 and it's really interesting where you see really both of these guys battle mentally like head on on trying to outsmart outdo one another and it really gets to you it really gets under your skin like there's moments in there where I actually got kind of like like it was really really draw me in as, as to what was going on and again, the action comes and goes, so it's not really an action-heavy film. It's more about tension and more about really the characters. And it really kind of puts it out to where it's <laughs> it's kind of a psychological cat and mouse game of who outdoes the, the other. And it's really, really thrilling to see an action that doesn't rely really on the action set piece but more on the mental um set um, the mental aspect of 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 this movie and um i can tell you this film could and i bet it did sell uh, denzel a little bit as an action star but he's not really an action actor he's not in action films and I, I i adore more of his action films than i do in his other films but this film right here i think gets slept on I mean, it's old film. It's like what the movie, like thirty years, thirty years ago, nineteen ninety one. Yeah. So this film is, I I would highly recommend you check it out. It's it's available on HBO Max. I mean, you can also rent it if it's online somewhere. Um, but I would, I I highly recommend it. And any ladies out there that like Young Denzel, well, there you go. Ricochet, have you seen it? Comment below, let me know if you have, and let me know what is your favorite underrated movie.